and gentlemen, here we go. Module 0 0.10. So we're in unit 0, module 10. All right, relationship between quantities and expression. How would you define parameter, and how would you calculate the parameter of a square? So what I need for you to do is I need for you to answer those two questions. I'm going to give you 45 seconds, right? 45 seconds, go. Answer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how would you define parameter? Go. Go. Mm, okay, I, I, that's the process that, that you do. How would you define parameter? How would you walk out, stop somebody at the end of the day and go, hey, that's parameter. Go. Okay, total length of the outside of the figure, the sum of all the sides, what? Measurement of a border. Go. The distance around a shape. Go. The length around a shape. Okay. So if you have a combination of any one of those, you're you're good. So perimeter, well, how would you define a perimeter? I would say that perimeter is the distance, me. Now you're you're gonna be very close to this. The distance around an object. Object and shape are about the same thing, right? But I'm talking about distance because it's a length, is it not? Perimeter is really a length. It's like, take, you know, back in old days when they surveyed, they used to pull a chain, right? Surveying, laying off land and all this stuff, and they used to pull chains, right? And they put stakes in the ground, metal stakes, and you can find corner posts, all that stuff. They said all that stuff. Now they do it with GPS. They put a pin, they go to a pin location and peg it off GPS because GPS is, you know, very accurate now. Not so much a couple of years ago. But the technology has been released to the public to make it more accurate. So they just don't do that anymore. So perimeter is how far is it around it, right? Yes. It does. GPS told me that Isaac was over there in one of them hay fields right there. It, it bumps. It, it, my little life 316 comes and said, Isaac has left the school. They showed him over there in the hay field. Now I know he wouldn't know where in the hay field. Yeah, that, yeah it's only good as, as uh, some of the things that you search for. Now, how would you calculate the parameter of a square? Let's think about a certain object. How would you do that? Go. Okay, we could take the side length and multiply it by what? Multiply it by four, right? Why could we do the side length multiplied by four? A square, the characteristics of a square has all the sides the same. See, you got to, you, the one thing about people don't understand about math is you've got to understand the characteristics of things the shapes all this stuff stuff it's like your friends do you know your friend do you know how your friend would respond in certain situations okay because you understand you know something about them right same thing about these shapes squares rhombuses rectangles all this the more you know about them the more you can say about it, right? Gentlemen, where have y'all been? Yeah. Wow. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Next. Any notes or anything? Ladies and gentlemen. A rectangle has a length of 30 centimeters and a height of 53. What is the perimeter of this rectangle in centimeters? Whoa, look what they've done. Anybody notice what they've done here? Warren, what you got, bro? Huh? There are millimeters and what? They have mixed it, apples and oranges. You do that together, you'll make fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. That's not going to be good, except to eat. Put a little extra mayonnaise in there and you'll be good. 
fruit salad? Main ingredient? Mayonnaise? Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to do? How are you going to convert? How are you going to convert? Um, you're going to do, oh, whoa, whoa. Do I do, do I convert everything to millimeters or centimeters? How do you know centimeters? Oh, it says. Okay, so I'm going to give you a chance to do that. Go. Okay, what's the first thing we'll do, ladies and gentlemen? Pray. Always pray. First thing, always pray. Divine intervention is a good thing. Now, what's the second thing you do? Convert from where? Millimeters to where? Now, how do we convert from millimeters to centimeters? Wake, wake the gentleman up. He's had a rough day. You got to wake up, young man. Learning. Going on and you're missing out. You already started drooling. That's a bad thing. All right, so we got to take the millimeter to centimeter. That means I need to move the decimal how many places to the left? Once. Only one, right? So we're going to take that thing here and we're going to go right there. So this is really 5.3 centimeters. Now, what do you know about a rectangle? Tell me everything you know. Go. There, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, side lengths are not all the same on all four sides. But you miss a very important uh, characteristic. Go. Opposite sides are the same. We say a big old word called what? Congruent. There you go. Hey, hey. Congruent. Right? What else you know? What else you know? What else you know? Oh, okay. All right. So, so you can do, it says find perimeter, right? So you can go uh, 30 plus 5, 0.3 plus 30 plus 5.3. Now, that's assuming that this, right? Would y'all agree? But I want you to step up just a little. I want to take you thinking just a little bit further. Let's go a little bit deeper. We're going to get off the surface level. I'm going to hold you down and drown you. So pay attention. We're going to transition to that. It's about time to do that, right? Like that, it's, it's a lot easier. It is, but did you always start out like that? Nah. So that's what, 60 and this is what, 10.6? So that gives me 70.6. Oh, 70.6 what? Centimeters. Ladies and gentlemen, how did we do? Yay or nay? <laughs> there you go. Oh, you moved it to the right. You remember that little thing? Flip, it, flip the orange paper. Oh, no, you got it right there. Sorry, it's on the white. Start at millimeters, right? Now, go to centimeters. Which way did you go? Thank you. It's that simple. How, how are you going to be able to remember? Because you ain't going to have that. You have the orange sheet, but you will not have the, uh, well, it's on there too, right? King Henry died drinking milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Daily? I don't know. What is it? King Henry dances much like girls during cold months. I like that too. Credits, Amy Johnson. All right. Y'all can tell her I credited her that. Okay, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk, I guess. It's okay. Yeah, you got it. So, what do we got to do with this one? What do you think we got to do? We got to we gotta change yards and feet and feet in the yards. How am I going to know? Because they want the perimeter in what? Feet. All right? So uh, let's set up the conversion real quick, and then you can work the rest of it out. So we got to take yards, 20 yards. YDS is yards, right? So yards goes here. Can I put yards down here? Yes or no? Okay, good. Why? It's on the top. And if it's on the top, it should go to the what? If we're trying to convert from it, right? If it's on the bottom, we're trying to convert from it. The bottom will go to the what? Yeah, we got to get them crisscross applesauce, right? So do we have a direct conversion between feet and yards, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. 
What is it? Three, three feet three and one yard, right? So there. You ought to be able to do that, right? So the 20 yards is really how many feet? Thank you. And then you can uh, proceed from there. Any questions? Are y'all good with that? Yes or no? A, tri a right triangle. Not just any triangle. A right triangle has legs that are 2 feet and 18 inches. What is the perimeter of the triangle? In oh, man. On this one, you want to pass? You're going to tap out so early? Man. No. That's a right triangle. Now, uh, the legs. Man, this is great. The legs of a triangle. <laughs> this is really, really, really good. The legs of a triangle are 2 feet and 18 inches, right? What is the perimeter in inches? Well, we this is 2 feet and 18 inches. So how much is 2 feet, guys? 24 what? Inches, right? So, what's 24 inches plus 18 inches? How much? Are you sure? Okay, good. Okay, so the legs are now 42, ladies and gentlemen. What? Okay, now, is there something that I'm missing here? Pass that back, please. Okay, no, I got legs. Oh, on a right triangle, what are the parts of a right triangle? Oh, yeah, I said it last year, didn't I? Legs and what? No. The what? The hypotenuse. You see, the hypotenuse is the other side of a right triangle. You have two legs and a hypotenuse. <laughs> now, the what do we got to find? The high what? The hypotenuse, right? We gotta find the hypotenuse. Now, why, how do you find the hypotenuse? A squared plus what? B squared equals what? Okay, whippersnappers. I need you to do this problem. See, I need you to find the hypotenuse. Now, I'm gonna tell you, the hypotenuse is gonna be a radical. I'm just gonna share that with you. And you need to simplify that radical. Just want to let you know that. I know. I am all about nerding out. Any opportunity that I, I can nerd out with you in there, that's great. That's just like a bonus. So y'all do the problem. Oh, no. Okay. So A is 42. B is 42. And, and we got a square them, right? So those are legs. We'll find out what C squared is. Now, what's 42 squared? What's 42 squared? Come on. Okay, no, 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 that was all about you. I need somebody that's going to. 1,764. 1, Plus 1,764 equals C squared. What's 1,764? 3,500 and what? 28. Ladies and gentlemen, that's equal to C squared. Now, you ready? I need C. So how do I get rid of something being squared? It, yeah, the answer's in the name. If it's being squared, you square root it. What you do to one side, you do to the what? Other. Other. Now, if you have one of these precious, wonderful looking calculators right here, the TI-36X Pro, just saying if you have one of these right here, you can hit that little button right there that says, uh, right, right there, the X squared, if you hit the blue and the X squared, Blue X squared, that'll bring up a, a square root. And you can type in 3528. And then you can hit enter. Okay, so it's going to give you a right, uh, it's going to give you a decimal, right? But if you hit that little button above the enter sign that says like to catch a wave things, it should. It should. I did not do that. It should do it. It's calculated. Oh. Okay, there you go. So, so what, it, what does it come out to be? As, well, it doesn't really matter if it's that. So what does C come out? Give me the three decimal places, somebody. 
59 what? 39 what? Thank you. I, the three decimal places mean you got to do that. Okay, good. I just hit my mic with my hand. Okay, so 59.396. Does it make sense that the hypotenuse is the biggest side? Yeah, it has. it is across from the biggest angle. There's a relationship, biggest angle is across from the biggest side. There's a relationship there, always. Smallest angle, across midst the smallest side, always. Yes. Yeah, that'd be really good. Just go to three, baby. Yeah, you still got to use rounding. You still got to use your rounding principles, right? Hold the third and look at the fourth. If it's five and up, that goes up. If it's four and down, that stays around, right? So did that go up or stay down? What? Huh? Yeah, 59.369, yeah. 369, three, uh, 396. Okay, and what is the parameter now? Parameter equals 42 plus 42 plus 59 point what? Ladies and gentlemen, what does that give me? How much? What is that? Come on, guys. You got calculators in your hand. You got thoughts in your brain. All you got to do is put the actions in the words. Go. 143.396. 396 what? Inches. Good job. Wonderful. Good job. Now, will you see one of these again? Oh, you betcha. That right there is like a Mac Daddy going to be on a quiz or a test. Going to be. I'm, well, you need a decimal. What's wrong with a decimal? Oh, well, we're going to teach you how to not make your head hurt when it comes to decimals. As long as you know how to round, you ought to be good. Okay. Questions? Anybody? Going once, going twice, what you got? Well, I took the square root of 3528. If you go second, which is that blue button up there, and then there's an the X squared button, and that x squared button right above it says the square root, right? That's what the second does. It gets to that button. And then you type 3528, and you can hit enter. And it'll give you 59.39 something, right? Yeah. What you got? Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, but you just can't take two sides. There's two specific sides you got to take. No. The legs. The square, the sum of the legs of a right triangle has to be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. That is the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem only works for right triangles. Now, you can get into laws of cosines, the law of sines, if you're looking at triangles that are not right. Now, that's intrigue, but you can find it. It's okay. They got a lot of stuff. It's ratio between the angle and the side and all that stuff. So... But that's trig, and you can get into it in pre -cal. But Pythagorean theorem, the legs, the legs are the two sides that form the 90 degrees. Do y'all see that? See that 90 degree? Those two sides coming into that? Those are the legs. The one across from it is the hypotenuse, right? Fair enough? All right, you got to know what you're looking at, right? Go, hey, can you define the area, and can you calculate the area of a triangle? I mean a rectangle. Can you do both? Okay, go. Yeah, okay. How do you define area? Area is what? It's what now? It's the space inside of an object. Okay, go. Go. Shh. Well, okay, but what if it's not length and width? Okay, let's think about the area. The area is how much you got flat-wise of that object, right? How much does it does your object take up, right? How much is your object? You look at that desk. The area of that desk, you can figure it out, right? If you know the length and width, you multiply them together, you find the area of that. The area is how much.
space you have to work with, right? Right. So it's how much you have inside of an object, right? I like that. That's good. Now, there's probably a lot of other definitions, right? Right. Google. Let, let's let, let's do Google. I love Google, so let's do Google. Google. Please define area. According to math is fun. The amount of space inside the boundary of a flat object, such as a triangle or circle or surface of a solid object. These shapes all have the same area of nine. Help me find how many square. Okay. So it's the, the amount of space inside the boundary of a flat object. Now, why do you think they said flat? It's the amount of space in a what? Flat what? Why do you think they said flat object? It's two dimensional. It's two dimensional, guys. Length then what? Width. It's two dimensions. When you throw in the third dimension, do this. Ready? Everybody do that. Ready? Ready? Now. Ooh. Three dimensions. Three dimensions. So what does three dimensions do? That is volume, right? It's the area extrapolated upward, right? It's like taking sheets of paper and stacking them. You'll build an object. It's volume. Two dimensions. So X and Y and Z. Now, they don't like that because they think that right there is rude. But it's, a, it's three dimensions. That's how you do. That's how you teach CAD right there. That's three dimensions right there. Yeah, your your finger's going awkward like this. Yeah, like that. You got to do like that. Okay. They're saying flat because they're talking about two dimensions. Length times width is two dimensions, right? Not volume. How do you... Hey, focus. Quick, chase the squirrels and let me do them. Calculate the area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle. Well, people say length times what? Or base times what? Height, right? What about an area of a triangle? One half the base times the what? That's right. One half the base times height. Do you believe that I remember that before I remember the one for the rectangle? No, that's just backwards. I don't know. Yes. No, what's that shape? Oh, I don't remember what it was Me neither. You look it up, you find it, you can talk. All right, y'all ready? A rectangle has a length of 8.2 centimeters, 4.2 millimeters. What is the area of a square in square millimeters? Why are the units squared? Nope. It's two-dimensional. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're talking about perimeter, you're talking about whatever that unit is regular. If you're talking about it, uh-uh, stop. I got time. If you're talking about area, you're talking about two dimensions, that's squared. If you talk about volume, you're talking about three dimensions, that would be something cubed, right? All right, make sure you finish the rest of this, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Take care.